Are you a person that likes to fly under the radar? Do you like visiting or living in places that don't get a lot of attention? Or maybe you even like searching for hidden gems. If that's the case, then you are going to love this video. Let's get right into it. Here are 10 of the most overlooked or underrated states in the United States. Also, before I start, I want to note that the states in this video are based on my opinion with some stats to back it up, but it's still my opinion. So if you don't agree with me, that's fine. You probably have your own list. This is my list. Let's do it. Number 10, Nebraska. Now I know this one's going to take some convincing. Most people see Nebraska as a boring state that has nothing to do and nothing to see. You would be right in saying that, but you would also be wrong in saying it at the same time. Let's start with Omaha. Omaha is a small city situated on the Missouri River. Omaha was ranked by Forbes as one of the best cities in America to raise a family. Despite not having any teams from the four major sporting leagues, there are lots of things to do in Omaha. It is very laid back, still a relaxed city, and considered one of the best places in the Midwest. Nebraska is a prairie state with sand dunes and a very flat landscape. To use the terms they use up in Saskatchewan, there is lots to see because there is nothing to block your view. Number nine, Arkansas. The natural state is a gorgeous state, home to the Ozarks and so many hidden gems. The first video I ever made on this channel was about Arkansas and why you should move there. I recommend giving it a look. There's a lot of information about Arkansas in the video. But like I said, there are so many cool places to explore in Arkansas. If you wanna move there, move to the northwest corner in the Fayetteville area. It is by far the best area of the state and to be honest, probably the only area of the state I would recommend moving to, but there are lots of places all over the state that I'd recommend visiting. Number eight, Alaska. Everybody obviously knows of Alaska, but do they really? A lot of people see it as a place that is freezing cold for nine months, even 10 months out of the year, as well as a place where the sun doesn't come up for those nine months of the year. Alaska will absolutely not be a place where anyone can live. It takes a certain lifestyle and ability to adapt to be able to live there. But to visit Alaska, everyone, and I repeat, everyone should do it once in their life just to experience the raw beauty of the state. Number seven, South Dakota. Aside from Mount Rushmore, South Dakota is never a place that I hear a lot of people talking about. Not a lot of people I talk to ever say they are excited to go see what South Dakota has or that they could see themselves living there one day. Sure, it does get cold in the winters, but hey, like anything, you adapt, you get used to it. South Dakota is ranked 12th overall on the happiness index created by Wallet Hub and is consistently ranked high on many other lists. People who live in South Dakota love their home, their lifestyle, and everything about their state. There are so many cool places to visit and it offers you a relaxed lifestyle where you can live the way you want. Unless you want to live in a big city because they don't have those in South Dakota, please, please, please check it out. Also, another place within the state, the foothills. You have to go visit the foothills. They are something else. Number six, Idaho. Idaho is always a state that seems to be found in memes on the internet for whatever reason. I'd imagine most of you have seen the meme of Montana sniffing Idaho. Well, if you haven't, here it is on the screen. Anyways, I think that Idaho is a state that goes under the radar for how great it is. Sure, like anywhere else, it has its pros, it has its cons. Let's start with Boise. Boise is a fantastic little city, a great downtown area that has this sort of calmness in the air. It isn't overly crowded and it has a lot of character. As for the rest of the state, Idaho is full of natural beauty. Living in Idaho is a tax-friendly state with a relatively cheap cost of living. There are lots of people packing up and heading towards Idaho. And to be honest, it's, it's not a horrible decision at all. Number five, Delaware. Along with Rhode Island, Delaware is usually one of the states people struggle to remember when they are trying to finish naming all 50 states or playing the, the map game. 
Sure, it's a small state with a bit of a rough, big city in Wilmington, but there's still lots of good about the state. For starters, Delaware has no sales tax, which is a huge bonus. Delaware also has been referred to as the most tax-friendly state for retirees. And honestly, if you get a place along the coast, Delaware is a fantastic state to retire in. The state's in a great location, you are close to lots of major cities, but you can also still have that small town feel with no hustle and bustle of a big city, even though you're within hours of multiple big cities. Number four, Maine. Maine is a state I've only ever been to once, but I must say it was a really nice place to visit. Portland is an awesome city, with an old historical vibe to it. The coast of Maine is gorgeous. Old Orchard Beach is one of the most popular beaches in the state and it it is for a reason. Sure, the winters are rough in Maine and probably more rough than they are in most places. But again, said it before, I will say it again. You will always be able to adapt to a new climate. It takes a little while, but it's not that bad and you'll be able to really appreciate where you're moving to once you do. Number three, New Hampshire. Right next door to Maine, we have New Hampshire. New Hampshire is a state that has a small town feel, great people, and so many awesome towns to visit. The White Mountains are also pretty cool. New Hampshire is also a very, very tax-friendly state with no income tax on wages and salaries. Personally, New Hampshire is my favorite state in New England. Just the people, the food, the small towns, it's just, it's got such a nice feel to it and it's definitely a place that I could see myself living. Number two, Minnesota. For whatever reason, Minnesota isn't a state that I hear much about. Yes, right off the bat, again, I'll acknowledge the winters are brutally cold, but again, I'm from Canada, so to me, it's no big deal. When I look at Minnesota, there seems to be a good balance of things there. You have a big city, well, two for that matter, right next to each other. Lots of pro sports teams, lots of outdoor activities to do. After all, Minnesota is home to nearly 12,000 lakes. Minnesota is relatively average when it comes to the cost of living. It's not overly cheap, but it's not overly expensive either. In my opinion, there are a lot of worse places you could end up than Minnesota. Number one, Utah. I think it's Colorado's fault that Utah is number one on this list. Colorado usually gets all the hype when it comes to the mountains and the lifestyle that the mountains bring with them. Obviously when you compare Denver to Salt Lake City, Salt Lake City does fall behind in a lot of categories. That said, Salt Lake City is cheaper and much closer to the mountains. Utah is a very friendly state. The people there are very happy. Salt Lake City was ranked the second friendliest city in the country. Utah seems to me like a state that's very, very laid back, even more so than Colorado. And when I went to Colorado, I was amazed at how laid back the lifestyle is. Even in Denver, which is a very big city, it just it, it doesn't have that big city craziness to it. And I would imagine Salt Lake City and all the other places in Utah are very, very similar to that. Alrighty, let's see how this one goes. Let me know how good or how bad my list is in the comments. Remember, this is just my opinion and it's likely very different than yours. I'd love to hear what your top 10 underrated states are. Give me a list. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.